My room temperature IQ sister decided to cut off her eccentric best friend because she feels like she got outshone at her wedding. My sister, Anne, 29F, has been best friends with Ruby, 30F, for as long as I, 25F, can remember, so growing up, Ruby was like a second big sister to me. One thing that is important to note is that Ruby has always had the most outrageous fashion sense possible. She's the person who would wear those runway outfits that you think no one would actually wear. And got engaged pre-pandemic. Almost as soon as it happened, she started being really weird to Ruby. When she made me the maid of honor, I was kind of surprised because they've always sworn to be the maid of honor at each other's weddings, but I am her blood sister, so it wasn't that weird. However, I was completely blown away when she made a group chat, and I found out that Ruby wasn't even a bridesmaid. Both my mom and I tried to talk to her about it since we figured they had an argument or something, but she would only say that Ruby didn't care anyway. I know that Ruby was hurt, but she didn't want any drama, so I agreed to let it go. Throughout the whole wedding process, my mom kept asking Anne if she would invite Ruby, if she would ask Ruby's opinion, etc., but Anne refused to have any contact with her or talk about anything wedding-related with her whatsoever. On Saturday, my sister got married. She had a beautiful, socially distanced wedding outdoors. However, she was seething the whole time because of Ruby's dress. It wasn't outrageous by Ruby's standards, so I don't believe she intended to outshine my sister. She wore a simple wedding dress, but that was her choice. As the maid of honor, I, of course, attended her fitting, and that was the dress she literally chose. And has been cursing Ruby out, saying that their friendship is over since then, as if she hadn't been ignoring her all through lockdown. Finally, I just said that she's been friends with Ruby most of her life and knows how she dresses. She should have expected this. If it was that much of a problem, she should have found a way to mention it to her or just made her a bridesmaid. And lost it with me. She sent Ruby some really horrible messages after screaming at me. She didn't say a word to me all of yesterday, but she's badmouthing me to our dad, who is on her side. My mom has told Anne that she should apologize to Ruby for the nasty messages she sent and for yelling at me, so Anne isn't talking to her either. I don't even know what's going on, but Ruby swears on her life that they didn't have an argument or anything. Anne says that's none of my business, and I should be supporting her as a sister. My dad agrees with her, and she's rallied the other bridesmaids against me, so I don't know what to think. Update 1. Based on some of the advice I'm receiving, I was going to tell Anne this morning how much she means to me and that I'm there for her, but she's seething again, so I'm not trying to. Dave, the groom, asked me if I could talk to Anne because they've also apparently had a massive fight because he tried to defend Ruby on the wedding night. He asked me if I could explain where he misstepped and how to make it up to her. This is the first time he's ever asked me for help with their relationship, so he's clearly at a loss. I said I was just as confused, and we didn't even know why she wasn't in the bridal party, so he should just try to talk it out with Anne. This is when it gets weird. Dave said that the reason Ruby wasn't in either wedding party was that he wanted her as a best woman, and Anne wanted her as a maid of honor, but Anne wouldn't budge and said that they should just drop her from both parties to be fair. He said that she explained it to Ruby, and that's why they had a fight because Ruby wanted to be included. I said okay and just hung up, but the more I think about it, the more confused I am. If they had a massive fight about Ruby being maid of honor, surely Ruby would remember? Also, I don't know why Dave would want Ruby as his best woman when, to my understanding, he only met her after he started dating Anne. I really am taking your advice not to meddle to heart, which is a nightmare because now my curiosity is totally piqued, so I won't bring it up. It's possible that this is all I'll ever know, and this will bug me to my grave, but I have made a vow not to push in any more on it. Update 2. I'm even more confused. Dave called me about 30 minutes ago, asking in a very angry tone of voice if any of his groom's men behaved inappropriately towards me. I asked what, and he repeated the question. I could hear Anne in the background shouting something. I said that they had been perfect gentlemen at the wedding and that I hadn't had any contact with them since. He then asked me if Ruby knew that she was meant to be the best woman. I said not to my understanding, but it was possible that I don't know, as both she and Anne had been quite secretive about what happened between them, and that he'd be better off asking them themselves. He laughed and hung up. Ruby has texted me, asking me what's happening and if I knew about the best woman slash maid of honor thing. Just now, I got a message from one of the bridesmaids saying that if Dave calls me, I shouldn't answer him. Anne is on the phone with my dad, screaming, it sounds like. I have no clue what's going on, but I think somewhere in this mess is the truth of what actually happened. Everything seems to be exploding, and now I think that the bridesmaids, or at least that particular one, are involved. If things keep happening at this pace, I should eventually find out what in the flippity flop is happening. Update 3. There has been a lot of shouting and tears today. Honestly, I'm exhausted, but so many people have commented for the update, so here it is. I'm still kind of in shock. Anne has been lying to just about everyone. The story is very complicated and long. This list is actually what I use to wrap my own head around it. It's all the facts I have in chronological order. Dave has been to jail and is a recovering addict. He met Ruby before he met Anne, sometime after he recovered, and he was really struggling with money. Ruby helped him a lot and he considers her to be one of his closest friends. Two years later, Dave was doing well at his job and much more stable and functional. Around this time, Ruby introduced him to Anne. 
Anne was very reluctant to have a relationship with Dave because of his past, but she had strong feelings for him. Eventually, they began dating, but she was still ashamed of the person he used to be, so she told us that they met over a dating app. Dave consented to this at the time. As Dave became more comfortable with himself and the relationship became more serious, he told Anne that she needed to be honest with us about his history. She agreed to tell us, but she didn't. She told Dave that she had, and then wrote a fake letter from my family about how we were really grateful for his honesty and accepted him. She told Ruby that my parents had reacted really badly, so Ruby never brought it up with Dave or my family because she thought it was still a very sensitive topic. When Dave proposed, Anne started freaking out about the wedding. Dave wanted people from his support group to be there, Ruby is his best woman, etc., which would expose the lies. But she still didn't want to tell us who Dave was or tell Dave that she had lied to him, so she decided to continue lying instead of coming clean. So, and pretended to be really upset that she couldn't have Ruby as her maid of honor so she could make the argument that she should be dropped from both wedding parties. She told Dave that she had explained their decision to Ruby and that Ruby had taken issue with it to keep him happy. In reality, she knew that if Ruby knew she was meant to be best woman, it could easily get back to me and my mom, and then raise questions from us about Ruby's relationship with Dave. So she didn't tell Ruby anything at all, and that's why Ruby was so confused about what happened and couldn't think of anything. Then, she told Dave and all of his friends from his support group that they shouldn't mention the addiction in speeches or even casual conversation because it was a sensitive subject for certain family members before the wedding. Following that, she told the bridesmaids several lies about Ruby. She told them that she had a habit of causing scenes, that she was going to try to sleep with the groomsmen, that one of them was an ex-boyfriend of hers who dumped her, that she would get way too drunk. Essentially, she painted Ruby as a disaster waiting to happen so the bridesmaids wouldn't like her and also so that they could keep her away from certain people, specifically the ones that also knew Dave, at the wedding. And also told the bridesmaids that the only reason Ruby was invited is that I idolize her so they wouldn't repeat any of the lies she told me. After the wedding, and put on her enormous meltdown about the dress. The bridesmaids obviously didn't have a very positive opinion of Ruby, so they were easy to convince that it was meant as a genuine slight. My dad did what and apparently expected everyone to do by caving immediately because she was the bride. If my mom and I had done the same, and would basically have used it as an excuse to cut Ruby out of everyone's life. She tried to do the same thing with Dave's groomsmen by insisting to him that they had said inappropriate things about the bridesmaids. The idea was to basically remove anybody that knew the truth about Dave from the general social circle so it wouldn't come up again. Dave smelled that something was off. He asked what exactly the issue was with Ruby's dress and what exactly his friends had said. And panicked and accused him of not loving her, choosing his friends over her, etc., and it turned into a massive argument. Dave was mad and very suspicious, so he started calling people up trying to figure out what happened. A couple of the bridesmaids said that Anne was telling the truth about the groomsmen, she basically pressured them to say that, but most were kind of weirded out by the request, and I think they successfully got that across to Dave. He called me to ask if I knew what was going on. And told Dave that I was just like him, caring about Ruby more than her, and also that I wasn't there when it happened, but the timing of the story didn't match up so Dave called me anyway. That was the weird phone call. At this point, he knew she was spouting BS, so he asked her upfront what was going on. She broke down and told Dave everything. He was fuming. He texted us all to let us know about his past and then basically kicked Anne out. She came to us, where she then had to explain everything. Anne is absolutely shaken. I never considered her capable of this kind of deception and manipulation, and I don't think she has ever done something like this before. Contrary to what some commenters seem to believe, I don't hate my sister. I feel sorry for her, even though I'm really hurt by what she did because she feels so guilty and absolutely miserable, worrying that things will never be worked out with Dave. She's gone to bed now, very upset because our mom won't even look at her. She's fuming that Anne would deceive and hurt her and so many other people like this, I do understand where she's coming from. My dad is also very shocked and hurt. Anne texted Ruby. She sent her a message explaining and apologizing, but obviously, Ruby is really angry and upset. She just told her that she couldn't speak to her right now but maybe she'd call her in the morning once they'd both had a chance to calm down. Dave is probably the most hurt out of everyone, and I understand why. He wouldn't speak to Anne, but he did tell me that he really thought that he had our acceptance and that the letter she had written to him had been his most treasured possession ever since he received it, and to find out that it was false was absolutely crushing. I told him that we did accept him for who he was and that nobody blamed him, but I don't think it helped much. He has asked for distance from our family, and I understand why. I'm not sure when he'll be willing to speak to Anne again or if he wants to be her husband after this. I wouldn't blame him if he goes on to find someone else.